Hello everyone, today in this video we will talk about fighting with the Admas character of our world around us. And topic will be quite interesting. Because uh, there are different uh, situations in history, like different situations in life. And the Byzantine state, it was actually Eastern uh, Roman Empire, eastern part of the Roman Empire, Greek speaking qu quite quickly after the separation uh, from the west, but still Byzantines were, call were calling themselves Romans, Romanoi in Greek, because uh, the name Byzantine is actually a scientific term created by a scholar Hieronymus Wolf in the 1557 AD in his work because due to the mainly dominating Greek heritage, cultural and linguistic, in the Eastern Roman Empire, despite the fact they were still uh, considering themselves Roman, and in Islamic sources, Byzantine state is very is called Roman state, and the people from there are called Romans, despite the fact they are Greek speakers. But we know German scientists are always the wisest, and Hieronymus Wolf created the name for this Eastern Roman Empire to distinguish it from the Western Roman Empire, created the name Byzantine from the first city that was established long before Constantinople, uh, on the same place where the uh, capital of the Eastern Roman Empire was, was established by Constantine the Great. Okay, but this is a story, Just this is just an uh, introduction. And the last period of the independence of the Byzantine Empire, so the time when the Paleologus dynasty was ruling the state, with some breaks for some usurpers from the Cantacuzin family, uh, the period lasted from 1261 AD to 1453 AD, so till the 29th of May 1453, so till the end of the existence of the Eastern Roman Empire so-called Byzantine Empire, uh, and this period was marked by mainly political and military failures that resulted in the final annihilation of the state, uh, with some uh, success in the second half of the 13th century of diplomatic uh, ventures and diplomatic offensive against the uh, Western European powers, uh, that, for instance, the Sicilian Vespers that were induced by uh, Byzantine intrigue to eliminate the uh, risk of the, in a bloody way, the risk of the uh, invasion of Charles de Anjou to recapture Constantinople. So Latins were just uh, were just kick, kicked painfully by the Byzantine diplomats w with Sicilian hands the peril of the next Latin invasion on Constantinople was actually uh, eliminated. It was a great success. But later years of the Palaologus dynasty uh, were not so great for the Byzantine Empire. It was actually constant decay politically and economically. Mm, that finished, as I said, in 1453 with the final annihilation of the state. But intellectually, this period was uh, characterized by remarkable intellectual development in different disciplines of knowledge. Of course, the most developed discipline was theology, but not only. Different disciplines of human intellectual activity, including science, were heavily studied and developed. Thanks to this, many Greek scholars emigrated to the West and many Greek envoys, because there were trials uh, to make a union between the Eastern and Roman Catholic Church, so Orthodox and Catholic Christianity, unsuccessful at the end, but many envoys were traveling mainly to Italy and back, and they were also trans transfer transferring with them a lot of books and knowledge to the Western societies, and it helped the Renaissance uh, to start, and the Renaissance to spread uh, on into the other European countries. And they helped in the transfer of the uh, ancient Greek and Roman, mainly Greek, heritage into the Western 
uh, societies into the uh, communities of Western intellectuals, these Greek envoys and these Greek emigrants from the dying uh, Byzantine Eastern Roman Empire that was dying politically but flourishing intellectually. So the book, The Last Byzantine Renaissance by Stephen Ranciman, describes it well. Yeah, the Stephen Ranciman is known for, um, also for his uh, great work on Crusades, three-volume work of Crusades, very critical to Crusades because Mr. Stephen Ranciman was Byzantinist by his passion and education, so it's hard to uh, get a good opinion about Crusades from Byzantinist, but uh, his uh, work uh, on the last Byzantine Renaissance is, is great, uh, especially that it's, this is mainly the intellectual portrait of the last two centuries of Byzantium, a little bit eight years less than two centuries actually, from 1261 AD to 1453 AD, and uh, it's written as his all, all, all books very beautifully, The Last Byzantine Renaissance by Stephen Ratzman, and there is a great conclusion from this book, that scholars are, are really very miserable politicians and very miserable organizers. This we should take into account, especially now, when we hear always expert says, Expert no, expert advise, expert recommend. And the worst thing is when they are coming into politics, because as history says, as in the example of the Byzantine Empire dying one, scholars are not good politicians, are not good organizers. This lesson from history we should keep in mind and our world will be better. Especially I uh, refer to this mm, with respect to this was happening in the last few years. Take care, have a nice evening, and I recommend this book to you, and I wish you many good reflections on science, politics, state, art, and human nature. Take care, bye.